Hello children and welcome back. Today we are going to start another topic and another subject that is geography for class 9th. This is the first chapter I have picked up is natural vegetation and wildlife. I have made almost 45 uh, MCQs on this and we will do it along with a little bit of explanation so that the MCQ and chapter both are understood by you. So let's begin with the first MCQ of the part one. The number of biosphere set up in India are 18, 15, 16 or 36. So children, the correct answer for this is 18. So this is the, uh, the snippet of the chapter. Biosphere reserves. A biosphere reserve is a unique and representative ecosystem of terrestrial and coastal areas which are internationally recognized within the framework of framework of UNESCO's. So if you see here the there are 18 biosphere reserves in India. So this is the uh, figure 5.9 and table 5.1 in the book if you can see this is NCRT book where you can see the names of all the biospheres Nilguri, Nanda Devi, Nokrek, Manas, Sundarban, Gulf of Mannar, Great Nicobar, Similpai, Panchmadi. So all the cold deserts. So these are all 18 biospheres and the dates on which the UNESCO recognized them. So the sites with the bold letters have been included in the World Network of Biosphere Reserves of UNESCO. So jo ye bold hai, ye world network may be included hai. So children, let's go to the next question. So the correct answer is 18 biosphere set up in India. By which ways do forest control the soil cover of an area? By providing humus to the soil, controlling soil erosion, regulating stream flow or all of the above. So it's very easy children. This is the answer is all of the above. How many tiger reserves are there in India? 86, 12, 44 or 98. So children, if you have read the chapter properly, if you get an option here, 86, 12, 44 or 98, please select 44. I will tell you the reason for that. There are 44 tiger reserves in India. So if you see, the project tiger has been implemented since 1973. The main objective of the scheme is to ensure maintenance of viable population of tigers in India for scientific, aesthetic, cultural and ecological values and to preserve areas of biological importance as natural heritage for the benefit, education and enjoyment of the people. So initially the project tiger was launched in nine tiger reserves covering an area of 16,339 square kilometers, which has now increased to 44 tiger reserves. So we have 44 tiger reserves and these are distributed in 17 states. So the correct answer for this is there are 44 tiger reserves. And children, as we said, uh, as per the textbook, it is 44, but the latest update for the Tiger Reserves is now 50, that it has grown up to 50 Tiger Reserves. Okay, next question is, how many species of animals are found in India? 36,000, more than 89,000, 47,000 or 74,000? And the correct answer is more than 89,000. Actually, the figure is 91,000. Which one of the following state of India has the least percentage of its area under forest cover? Punjab, Sikkim, Bihar or Madras. So we have options here children. So in this, the Punjab is the area, is the uh, state which has the lowest forest cover. But in India, the lowest forest cover is in Lakshadweep. How many national parks are there in India? 74, 103, 106 or 96? So children, the correct answer for this is 103 and we will also discuss it in detail. So if you see, as per the book, 
there are 103 national parks and 535 wildlife sanctuaries in the country and we have an appendix over here appendix 5 where we can refer to it so the correct answer is there are 103 national parks in India as per the book which type of vegetation grows in the sandy soil of the desert coniferous trees cactus and thorny bushes grasslands or none of these so children we know coniferous trees grows in the hills grasslands you know where it's wetty and marshy lands so in the sandy soil cactus and thorny bushes vegetation grows which type of vegetation grows in wet marshy soil alpine vegetation mangroves cactus or none of these so we've already know cactus is in desert mangroves is the type of vegetation which grows in wet and marshy soil due to which reason the vegetation of most of the areas has been modified or replaced or degraded because of soil erosion because of human occupancy because of change of climate or none of these so children answer to this is because of human occupancy alpine and tundra vegetation is found at the height of 4500 meters 6000 meters 9000 meters or 4000 meters so children the answer for this is the alpine and tundra vegetation is found at the height of roughly 4500 meters as per the, the textbook description although it may find it may be in the different uh, countries it can go up to 12,000 meters I will explain this to you so if you see uh, the uh, we see the silver firs, junipers, pines, birch and rhododendrons etc occur between 3000 and 4000 meter now the southern slopes of the Himalayas carry a thicker vegetation cover because of relatively higher precipitation than the drier north facing slopes and at higher altitudes mosses lesions from the part of the tundra vegetation so this is beyond 4000 so if you get an option so choose accordingly so the correct answer is 4500 let's go to the next question which states and union territories of India have the largest percentage of its area under its forest cover Andhra Pradesh Andaman and Nicobar Islands Arunachal Pradesh or all of these so children the correct answer for this is Andaman and Nicobar Islands India belongs to which of the following categories according to natural vegetation and wildlife one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries of the world the country with the greatest forest cover a country lacking in biodiversity cover or none of these the answer is one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries of the world ebony mahogany and rosewood trees are grown in which type of the forest coniferous tropical tropical thorn or none of these so let's see the answer to this is children tropical rainforest let's explain a little bit more of this so tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest these forests are found in the western slope of the western ghats hills of the northern eastern northeastern region and the andaman and nicobar islands they are found in warm and humid areas with an animal annual precipitation of over 200 centimeter and mean annual temperature above 22 degrees centigrade so here there is no definite time for trees to shed their leaves flowering and fruition as such these forests appear green all the year around species found in these forests include rosewood mahogany aini and ebony etc so the answer is tropical rain forest chinchona trees are found in the areas of rainfall more than 70 centimeter less than 50 centimeter 50 centimeter or 100 centimeter so children the chinchona trees are found in the areas where the rainfall is more than 100 centimeters and this brings to the last mcq question of this part one 
if you have liked the way this mcq has been prepared please do comment and suggest for any improvement so that i incorporate it in the next video so the last mcq question is what is the place of india in the world in terms of plant diversity 8th 10th 8th 9th 6th or top 10th amongst world and 4th in asia so children this keeps on changing so the, as per the latest information the answer is top 10th amongst world and 4th in asia thank you children for watching this video i hope you have liked it i wish you all the success and good luck for your life and exam keep watching keep sharing